Goodness, officer, please come. Bon. Yeah. Please. We don't. Mademoiselle, now. I. I, I mean. There has been a. It is only one. Merci.
Aha. Some would say a lucky guess. Of course, officer. How can I help? One set must be... Merci. Another success. I should not be surprised by my own skills of data. What a revelation! The pieces of the puzzle are final. I have conducted my initial... Of course. Mademoiselle Elizabeth. Bien. Ex the oh, I'm a... F Merci. Who are you? 
This. You want. And. I. At. Because. Do. Merci. You're doing um, and your part. You, it is a it, it match. You have. Thank you. 
are beginning to... What a revelation! Pieces of the puzzle are finally come. Another success. The longer you are here, is I have how should... Maman, I'm, sh I'm in out when I feel I'm sh Certainly, officer. Um, I, I, now it, Certainly, officer. Mad no. Finally, it is up. What exactly? If I have. <laughs> Mademoiselle Florent. I don't. Merci. Huh. 
I should not be surprised. Magnifique. Things are beginning to become clear. of the path. Certainly, officer. What? Hmm. Yeah. And... Should not be sub. Success. What a revelation! He guess. Magnifique. 
Certainly, officer. The lap. We. The sun. And the. The pieces of the. Another success. What a revelation! Certainly, office. How could this but man? But oh, oh at the love the me the sun he left. Oh, what? If you have something to ask, I am glad. It is. I have. You are. And. I should not be surprised by... Things are beginning to become...
Certainly, officer. You have... Ev of course. Merci, Mademoiselle Elizabeth. That, this, oh. that, I do, and, Madame, and you, yes. I ref, that is, it is not, all the, about, stop, I am, a moon, your, I, as it, but it, it's, there it, while she, which, man, that is, you are, you, you, Elizabeth, Ella, if you, it, me, I'm so, what I, look at, look, for, it was, you, yeah, it is not, ha, you, if, you, 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 but so she but mam but no is it um. Mamma you're oh. what the I I I'm always up but make this it has rank of what we know right I'm sorry. We would. A a sh but that. Detective Poirot, I trust this finds you well. It has been many years since our paths last crossed, and while I'm sure your recollection of the events may differ from mine, I hope that receiving this letter has not rekindled a sense of animosity toward myself or the Van der Bosch name. The impression you made is something that has stayed with me since that day. It compelled me to reconsider the spoiled young lady I would have inevitably become and help shape me into the woman I wished to be. You made me see the childish and selfish girl in me that did not consider the consequences of her actions or how they may affect others. Although Maman may see the events of that day differently, I believe the compassion you showed for our maid Florette, as well as the drive to uncover the truth and accept no alternative, was a testament to your character and professionalism. Although I wish it were under different circumstances, your assistance is once again required, and I hope you will consider this as my formal request for your service. This forthcoming weekend was due to be one full of joy and happiness at the announcement of my engagement to Gideon Demir, whom I love dearly, bringing together two illustrious families, but it has been shadowed by deceit, extortion, and blackmail. The Van der Bosch name is being held to ransom by a mysterious party, and I am afraid I do not know who I can and cannot trust. We are holding a small gathering to celebrate our exciting news with what Maman calls the dignified elite, those that are well respected and held in high regard in both our close inner circle and society. Our private matters have always remained just that, so I fear one of those invited may be the person who is out to ruin our name, but for reasons I cannot fathom. I have enclosed a first-class rail ticket for you to join us for the announcement, and having contacted your superiors and the correct authorities to request your assistance, which they were more than happy to grant me, I shall expect your arrival with great anticipation. There shall be a carriage waiting for you at the station to bring you directly to Nemozan House. I thank you in advance in our time of crisis. Yours respectfully, Angeline van der Bosch.
Bonjour. Man ah. Merci. I don't think I would have la well do hey, you Bonjour, alors... Ah Ah Would you care Très vite. Ah. What a revelation! The pieces of the puzzle are What a revelation! Things are beginning to become... Another success.
You must be Detective the Angel with Angel and the I will she and what I do that you I'm here Merci Monsieur Detective. Uh, Mademoiselle Angeline. Det what? I'm. The on. Uh, but. Not. The I have. The friend. Oh. The she. Mama. I want. Sh you. Uh, Please. Uh, yeah. The paper. The Merci. Mademoiselle, yes, I will. I have no one. I do. I cannot. Yes, Madame. Madame, I. It's. Oh, it's fine. Merci. Pleasure is mine. I should not be surprised by my own. Be surprised. Of course, detective. I would uh, uh, play. You, I would. You, I would. She, she, 
I could hit her with her map. I for she do. Merci. Detective. I f I shall take. The pieces of the puzzle. Another success. Things are beginning to be... What a revel... Please? As far as Andrew... Andrew... Uh, I, sh I am... Mad it was... Merci, monsieur. of the puzzle. Ah, 
Elizabeth. Not at I am you are I have tried to tell I have met Miss uh, Merci. Pleasure is mine. Another success. Of course, detective. That is she. That quite. Merci. I will. Ladies and gentlemen, I... Oh, thank God. One last man. I want... I... It's... Uh... I have met... I hope you're not... I am only... I was having a private... I would not act... You have... What is my... Detective. Seems to... Of course I do. If I had, what was a? It's a nice. I... Mr. Sterling, you and uh, um, the, uh, you, it, I, merci. Ah. Ah. 
Allow me to introduce. I have. I have. You. You. I. He. You have. This. This. What? And. It is. I. It. It has been a. Madame Vandenbosch. Thank you. I. I. You get all I can. It would man. No. Monsieur Demir, uh, you are uh, uh, say I, I, you will. Uh, What a revelation! Some would say a lucky guess. Magnifique. Fire away. I have a Let's make this. I am. No. I should not be surprised by my... I should not be surprised by... Another success. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Oh, mais... You... I... In... Oui. I am... It's... Merci. Oh. 
what can I do for you? Merci. Let's make this... It is... Mer... Some would say a lucky guess. Magnifique. I told you, you're barking up the wrong tree. But you... And why would I... The world... I was... Uh... Pleasure to no. He... Uh, uh. But it... uh, but... uh. Allow me to introduce Hugo. I hope you I I I The 
pieces of the puzzle. What a revelation! The pieces of the puzzle. Things are beginning to... I should not be surprised by my... Fire away, get up. Let's make this. I and no. I am all yours. After this, let's. You are. I, I, you are. I and. It has been a pleasure. What a revelation! Some would say a lucky guess. I would... Another success. Is there something?
what can I do for you? Yes, Maman. Perhaps Turkey. I would love to see my beloved's homeland. I'm sure we will decide on somewhere. Perhaps where we are both yet to have visited. It was my crowning achievement. I am not so sure you workers would agree. Are you sure? I've definitely seen your face somewhere before. I do not believe there is another that resembles these features, or brains, at least. I've always liked the idea of sailing the West Indies. In that heat? With your complexion? Okay, but you lived in the capital at one time. Oui, mademoiselle. I spent much of my working life there. Maybe sleeping off half a bottle of whiskey. Let us not be so blasé with our opinions, brother. If you ask me, I don't believe anyone did. You're that officer! The shootout on the rooftop! Your face was all over our front page! It seems it is not only I that possesses great skills of deduction. You... Please, come quick! The Major has been murdered in his study! Monsieur et Madame, I am Detective Hercule Poirot of the Belgian Police Force. I ask that you all remain calm and in your seats. I shall begin my investigation immediately. Monsieur Sterling, please, lead the way. I... And that... Do you... And... Your help? Anything I c Your help? Some would say a lucky guess. The pieces of the puzzle. What a revelation! Ah. 
I should not be surprised. Anything I c and when your head. Another success. Things are beginning to become... Pieces of the pup. Another success. Anything I can Ma Your Things are beginning to be I should not be surprised. Magnifique. What a revelation. Anything I can Huh. Ah. 
Lucky guess. Another success. I should not be surprised by my Certainly. What do you You are as I am I your What a revelation! Things are beginning... Certainly. The guests are waiting. I oui, merci. I'm afraid our conversation is up. So it. A I come. Bonsoir, Monsieur Beck. I. One of. Monsieur de Silva. A man who. Is you Monsieur Damir, as a I was did I the, if Contest I what uh, if, Mademoiselle Conrad. You the pieces of the puzzle.
some would say a lucky guess. What a revelation! Another success. The pieces of the puzzle. Magnifique. I'm an open book. I... Whatever you require. I... Can you confirm? Things are beginning to... I should not be surprised by my own... Magnifique! What a revelation! Whatever you required, I and yeah. More questions, but of course, no. that. At all. I and what do you we I I the the you and I have the if you would be I'm an open book. He went if we no trouble at all. I be the I he the he
I am all yours. The I, you, I, what, as, because, she was, I, that, it, in the, you are. You came to the right. I, if, I, that, so, I, I don't, and, Another success. Things are beginning to be... I should not be surprised by my... Some would say a lot. I am all yours, detective. Countess, you gave me... I am sorry. Of course. Countess. I am ever that shot. Of course. Countess, you gave me the impression the ma I am sorry that ever. If it, it was a bully, perhaps. Merci, Countess. More question. Mer My time with the guest. of the puzzle of what a revelation the pieces of the puzzle of fun Some would say a lucky. I should not be surprised by. Entrez. Detective, please. Uh, de I am. I'm. And. 
Man. It, it, I'm sorry. It's not that I what? Another success. Things are beginning to become clearer. Magnifique. The pieces of the puzzle. Morning, detective. I hope I'm. I'm. What? You. I did. I, <laughs> you. Exactly. Good morning, detective. I'm fine. It. Ah. Uh, ah. Très bien. Yo. Comtesse. That's... I am... Com... A man... Oh, it's what... This... I... Bonjour, monsieur de... The tech... The... Oh, it... How... If... I... I... If it will help you, when Oh. 
Bonjour, madame. I should not be surprised by my own Is there something you it I What a revelation! Is there something? I, I shall. Whatever you need. Ah. 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 
Another success. I... Magnifique. Some would say a lucky guess. Another success. Detective Poirot, I have been asked to inform... Merci. They may not... Detective Poirot. I, I, I can, if I, 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 and, and, I, I think that, of the puzzle of I should not be surprised by my own skip I think that...
Détective Poirot. Magnifique. Things are beginning to... I would. He was a man that required. That is the. You. How many times I have? Ma Ma if. Ma I. Ma I. When I. I, I missed. And feel. You. I. Detective Poirot. It. Detective, what is the meaning of all this? Madame, I ask that you all lend me your ears for only a few moments. What I have to say is of great significance to everyone. You are all invited here to celebrate the engagement of Mademoiselle Angeline Van den Bosch and Monsieur Gédéon Demir, the coming together of two prevalent families. But the celebrations were short-lived, as Major Felix Egan was found dead in his study by a young servant of the house. It then became my responsibility and obligation as a detective to uncover the truth behind his demise. My initial examination of his study exposed a number of things I did not expect to find, things I have no desire to divulge at this time, but what I can say is this. It was no simple murder. A letter demanding ransom for a continued silence confirmed this. I am sure some, if not all of you, have heard whispers of a series of blackmails that have plagued the social elite in recent weeks. After hearing of the letters in the major study, you may ask if it was him behind the letters. You may further ask if he was preparing his next threat to another unsuspecting victim. It is a question that crossed even my mind. That was until I sought the truth. That in fact it was the Major that had fallen victim to our blackmailer Mysterieux. Last night I spoke with you all, confirmed your whereabouts in the house over the course of the evening, and while I would have expected such questioning to reveal a potential suspect, what I learned was that it could not have been one of you. What do you mean, not one of us? The man was stabbed. He hardly did that to himself. There is still a killer in the house. Pardon, monsieur, if you would allow me to finish. It could not have been only one of you. Rather, a partneria, a partnership, in cahoots, if you will. Conversations today have revealed facts that I was not expecting to discover. 
And although they may have muddied and complicated my investigation, what I must do to bring the guilty parties to justice has become clearer. Those of you that spun stories in an attempt to confuse and derail my investigation have made a grave mistake in underestimating my intelligence. Other detectives may fall for such deception, but I can assure you, Detective Poirot is no such fool. My investigation is far from over, and swift justice shall be dealt to those that have committed such appalling acts and have continued to mislead and lie to protect themselves. Now, I must continue, mon enquête, and I shall leave you to consider that you may be beside a cold-hearted killer. Bonsoir. Monsieur Sterling, un moment. The speech, detective. Is that me? Would I? I would like. Uh, merci. Uh-huh. 
Mademoiselle. Monsieur Demir. That I should have you. No. Get me any closer to my... Another success. of the puzzle. Monsieur de Silva. No, I have... It is none of your... If that were the... Your pers... No reason detected. I will be the judge. I trust there is... Of course. I... 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 But... Monsieur... That... Is the... That is... Thank you. 
I should not be surprised by... Magnifique. What a revelation. What is it now? I have that it. Some would say a lot. Another success. Magnifique. Is there something you need? No. If it was she wanted what? what? I I I and I I you are. What a revelation! I should not be surprised. Is there something you need? Is Mel that? Mademoiselle, have you? I have. I no. She will take. She. Oh. I have. Is you are. And la. Did did would you? Merci. I'm sorry about I it very
Monsieur Packhouse, it, I, that I am not my new man who appeared, and he would, and I did. I, Mademoiselle, she has certainly taken step, but she did not me. And I stand by that, uh, rather. <laughs> I, it's you. It, you. I have. It is my own. You. you. of the puzzle. Monsieur Sterling, don't if I if next I, your view and your and only is and well then you are that Mademoiselle, I shall keep. I don't. We. It. Then. I don't. You. Merci. Mademoiselle. Me. He. You. Yes. Yeah. Before. It. It is. I should not be surprised by my own skills of data. Another success. Mm. 
magnifique. Things are beginning to... What a revelation! Some would say a lucky guess. Pieces of the puzzle. Things are beginning to be. Magnifique. What a revelation. Some would say a lucky guess. I would Another success. The pieces of the pup. I should not be surprised by... Mr. Sterling, a but I I no please this this I 
you she the one and what I need I should not be surprised by my Another success. What a revelation! Things are beginning to become clearer. There is no use and I couldn't if she that I need of the puzzle. Some would say a lot. There is no you and There is no use. Not eat with if she did.
What a revelation! Magnifique! The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Another success. Detective Poirot, please. I'm. You have. Detective. You. I. What? But. She. I. What? I'm. Sup. It, what? It, you it, 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 uh, I, I deserve. Yeah. I, oh. It, 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 no. Will you please? I would. Would you? Of course. Mademoiselle Elizabeth, Mr. we have. Let us. I. No. Tell me what happened with the major on the e. He did off. Come. I need a moment. I should not be surprised by... Mademoiselle tells if what Man I can Man, would you I you are you do Detective, you have spent more time making us sit and wait for you than anything else. Madame Van den Bosch, if you think I have spent my time focused on anything besides uncovering the Major's killer, you are sorely mistaken. I'm sure you will be eager to share your findings with us then. All in good time, Madame. Firstly, to understand the truth of what has occurred this weekend, one must know the timeline of events that not only preceded the Major's death, but succeeded. We are all well aware of what happened before, Detective. You can save your breath. You are only aware of what the guilty parties wanted you to believe. 
But now I shall apprise you to the true events. The reason for us all being here, you know. The altercation between Monsieur Demir and the Major, you know. The body of Monsieur Hagen was found while we were all sat enjoying a most delicious meal. That you also know. But what was kept from us all was that his body lay on the study floor for far longer than was thought. It was that servant! She found him! S'il te plaît, monsieur. It was indeed young Inga that found the Major's body lying lifeless in the study. So it was her! Monsieur, I will not allow for any further interruptions. Hmm. I return to the Major's body. If we are to believe the scene that we were presented with, the Major must have been killed during the first course of our meal, a meal that none of you left, even for a moment. Speaking in the evening, you all confirmed one another's alibis, and although there was doubt in the validity of some, I confirmed that they were indeed all true. What I could not understand was how a man came to be found dead, and every guest accounted for at the time of death. That is until I question the latter. Monsieur Beckers, I shall now allow you to speak. You saw the Major smoking a cigar in the snow. Is that true? It is. False. You saw what you were meant to see. Someone in the Major's coat, standing outside, giving the illusion that the Major was still very much alive. Monsieur Da Silva, on the afternoon of the Major's death, do you recall hearing a telephone ring? Now that you mention it, I have not heard a single ring all weekend. Correct. The telephone lines have been down for the duration of our stay, meaning the telephone call that was received and promptly directed to the Major study was yet another act of trickery and deceit. But it did not end there. When I entered the study for the first time, it was obvious someone had already been there and falsified the scene to stage a burglary and clear away important evidence, including the murder weapon. What followed was an investigation that had already been hindered. But even those lengths were not enough to derail me for long. I think we have all had enough of your self-praise, Detective. Perhaps you would like to tell us who killed him now? Madame, as I'm sure you would expect, it is not as simple as that. What many of you do not know is the discussion that was had between the Major and Monsieur Beckers earlier that day. What has that got to do with anything? I told you I didn't kill him! That I know to be true. What you do not know is that it was not only his ears that heard your spoken words. I hope you are not implying I had something to do with it. No, madame. There was another. Mademoiselle Elizabeth. You are all aware that the Major was hired by Monsieur de Silva to front the security during the worker strikes. What very few of you know is that it was the Major's order that instigated the vicious attacks on those unarmed men and resulted in numerous deaths, including Mademoiselle Elizabeth's fiancé, Luc. Monsieur Beckers confronted the Major, declaring that he was to hand himself in. That is what Mademoiselle Elizabeth overheard. Now, knowing the truth, she waited until the Major was away from his study. After he stepped outside following the confrontation with Monsieur Demir's fist, it looked to be the perfect opportunity, or so she thought. The Major returned and found her looking for the proof she required to hand him over to the authorities. If the maid bumped him off, why hasn't she been arrested? The events that followed in the study are not those of a cold-blooded murder but one of a young girl that had no other option but to protect her own life. Sounds to me, Detective, like you have taken a shine to this young girl and would rather protest her innocence than arrest her for murder, the crime she has committed. Jeez, this is going to make for a juicy story. Mademoiselle, I ask you this. You have seen the Major's anger before, oui? What if I have? How do you think he would have reacted if someone was to find proof that he had committed a terrible act, and that if made public, 
would surely result in his incarceration. Exactement. It is quite the story you have told, Detective. But all I have heard is that Elizabeth overheard a conversation blaming the Major for her fiancé's death, and she murdered him in revenge. A servant killing a man that is as revered as he was. She will face the noose. I am not denying that a man has lost his life, but it is not the crime of murder that you all believe. While the Major did not deserve to die in such a way, it was his actions towards Mademoiselle Elizabeth that drove her to defend herself in any way she could. Mademoiselle Elizabeth will be punished, but we will let the law decide the severity of her punishment. She has played you like a fiddle, detective. Acting the innocent victim. She will be arrested and hanged for her crime, like every other cold-blooded killer. Uh, here, here. Give her what she deserves. The girl has got to pay for what she's done. Those... Mademoiselle... You don't need to imply... Even if in the pro... You knew the sit... Mademoiselle? You... Lord. Mademoiselle, I do not... It's not... Everything you said is true. I didn't think you had... We can't just forget what that girl has... Monsieur Beckers. We talked only la... Yes, we talked. Detective, I'm afraid it was not my intent. Jackie was document... And they were handled by... Nat... I was only pushing... Hindsight is a one... Nothing... Your I it we enough this It may be when you're in charge of your if you th You said it a non Monsieur da Silva I recall Do you read have you I I swallow Merci Monsieur What even up It was not but I would Quite presumptive. Putting my own. So. You have. You were there for him. That is not the. His actions are un. You judge him. You. The. 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 You. I'm so. I. When I. Man. Get. If. For. That. I'm. Oh, you have no right. Maman. Angeline. Have you heard what she has admitted to? She is merely trying to make herself... Is what she says true? Felix, he was my father? That is the secret that the letter was talking about, isn't it? You told me that we had nothing to hide. Detective Poirot, were you aware of this? Oui, mademoiselle. But it was not my place to repeat. I don't understand. What about father? Your maman betrayed the love of a good, honest man and played away behind his back and then kept it hidden for all these years like a lady of the night with her client list. Don't you say no more. Angeline, I... Did Felix know? This is not an appropriate conversation. He knew, dear girl. He knew the whole time. It is only dear Edwin that was blind to their deceit. You will not talk of him like that. You will not talk of him at all. If I don't, who will? You never deserved him. You don't even deserve the memory of him. Countess, there is something that you still had not explained. What more is there for her to say? How long were you in love with the Viscount for? Margot? Is that true? We were destined to be together. And then you turned up. 
and I was all but forgotten about. But you were nothing more than friends. And you made sure of that, didn't you? From the day you arrived, it was all about what you wanted and what you had to do to get it. You didn't consider Edwin at all. He was just a purse to you. I loved my husband, and I miss him every day. Loved him enough to stray? Both of you, no more. Please, Angela, let me explain. Maman, I do not wish to hear anything else from you. Not even your own daughter wants to hear your lies anymore. Cassandra van den Bosch, all alone. How dare you! While I feel a sense of satisfaction and pride in solving both cases, there is still a part of me that is reluctant to revel in triumph. I am content with the unmasking of Comtesse de Vos as the blackmailer, and knowing that she will pay for her crimes. But it is the justice for Mademoiselle Elizabeth that worries me. She will stand in a court of law, and I can only hope that they can see she acted in self-defense. I must trust that our legal system and justice will prevail, and a fair sentencing will be given. In protecting her own life, she took the life of another. Perhaps the guilt she must live with is a greater punishment than any sentence she can receive. Comtesse de Vos was taken from Nemosine House in cuffs and placed under arrest. Although she initially tried to plead her innocence, Inga, along with a number of other girls that the Comtesse had found employment for, came forward and made full statements. She was charged with five counts of blackmail and extortion and sent to a house of corrections where she will have a new life to become accustomed to. Monsieur Sterling and Mademoiselle Rayana were also reprimanded for their participation. While they may not be facing time in prison, tampering with a crime scene and obstruction of a police investigation are certainly not something that houses and new employers will look positively on. Mademoiselle Angeline finally became Madame Demir, and together they took up residence in England, where Monsieur Demir continues to support and fight for fairness and equality in London. I am happy to say that we have remained in contact, and Madame Demir has become a regular correspondent of mine, and the latest joyous news is that they are expecting a child of their own. Madame Van den Bosch showed compassion that I had not seen in her before. She stood in court and gave a truthful and genuine character reference of Elizabeth, as well as describing the Major and the atrocious crimes he had committed. After Madame Van den Bosch's secret was revealed to the world, her position in the social hierarchy was no more, disappearing in a moment. While she still resides in Belgium, I believe she has had to adapt to a far more modest way of life. A humbling experience for her, I am sure. Following her actions in the courtroom, Angeline believed that her maman still had a place in her life. Although they are on different sides of La Manche, they remain in contact. Mademoiselle Conrad left Nemosine House the same way she entered, confident in herself and audacious in her opinions. Her report of the Major's murder at the house and the surrounding blackmails became one of the most talked about stories of the year. While there were certain details of her own involvement that did not make it to print, she was really quite complimentary about the detective at the heart of the case. Monsieur de Silva tried to continue in his position as factory owner and business entrepreneur, but after his accounts and business dealings were investigated following the details of his blackmail being made public in Mademoiselle Conrad's article, his illustrious business empire began to crumble and is now facing an international corporate investigation. Monsieur Beckers stepped down from his position as union leader, accepting that he was no longer fit to represent the workforce that in his words he had let down on a scale of unmeasurable proportion. Although he is no longer the voice of the workers, he continues to support them from behind the scenes. 
Mushi Zakaria and his brother made amends, and returning to his family home, and after sobering up, he was able to find the help that he required. I understand that he is now helping fellow soldiers with similar conditions. And Mademoiselle Elizabeth, she stood before a court, and while the proceedings were deemed controversial, the charges against her were dropped, and the reasoning of self-defense was accepted by the presiding judge. Madame Van den Bosch's testimony, along with Mademoiselle Angeline's declaration of her good character, was enough to show that it was not in Elizabeth's nature to act in such a violent way. The abundance of evidence against the Major, and his violent and cruel nature, including his appalling acts during the strikes and the war, was more than enough to prove that Mademoiselle Elizabeth had no other option in that situation but to defend herself in any way that she could. With the new arrival of Madame and Monsieur Demir's child next year, they have agreed to give Elizabeth the opportunity to return home to England and take up a position in their home as nanny. The death of Elizabeth's beloved Luke has been at the center of everything. Had those in positions to help not acted with only themselves in mind, perhaps he would still be alive today and the Major would have paid the price for his own crimes in the eyes of the law, not at the blade of a knife. The blood of Major Felix Egan will remain on Elizabeth's hands, a stain that wherever she is and whatever she may do, she will never be able to wash clean. However, it will remain as a reminder to not only her, but all of us, of what we as human beings are capable of to protect ourselves. We all have something that may be considered shameful or sinful, and it is how we deal with it that shows our true character. Those involved in the riots, the workers' deaths, and the Major's killing believe themselves to be untouchable. Whether it was from their social standing or their confidence in themselves, they learned that everyone is accountable for their actions. There is no exemption because of the suit you wear or the money in your bank account. There is no price to a man's life. It cannot be bought or traded or discarded. No man is better than another, including Detective Hercule Poirot.